So I have a, um, a seller that I spoke to today who is interested in selling his home. And I want to know what is the best strategy to um, approach getting him closed. Um, he shared with me that some other investors have you know, offered him what he wants, which he wants 40,000 and one investor even offered him 45,000. And I said, well, you know, I asked him about terms and I obviously I went off the script and he's open to that, but he said he prefers cash. And I said, well, um, I'm just curious, why didn't you make a deal with these other investors if, you know, you're open to terms? And he just shared with me that he felt like it was too soon. Like he's, he just listed it on Craigslist he said he had um, $12,000 in back taxes to pay on it and liens, and he got that cleared up. And I asked him, would he take less? And he said he would. So I said, I told him, let me talk to my boss. I'll get back to you. Um, this good. could potentially be my first deal, and I want to know what is the best strategy to take him to the closing table. It's all baked into that closing call script. Seriously. Uh, do, do you know the rest of the numbers on it? Like, what's the ARV? I looked it up on PropStream. Um, well, the value on PropStream says it's 65000 Okay, does Roughly. it need work? He said it's in poor condition. I told him, thank you for being honest. Yeah. Is What's the current status? Is there a tenant? Is he living in it? Is it vacant? It's, it's vacant. It's vacant and has no, it's it's paid for. Okay, well, he's probably not going to get forty five for that thing from anybody i'm surprised those other guys offered that much they're probably just planning to renegotiate with them right mm -hmm. no that's that's no that's not gonna work yeah how much uh, rehab do you think is necessary to get it to full livable condition you know for some reason and this may be extremely high but i was just baking in like twenty thousand dollars okay the most you can pay is nineteen thousand for that okay and I, if you can get terms at that low price, great. But if not, you still got to get that low price because the house needs work. It's not livable. It's been vacant for X amount of time or whatever. You see what I mean? Like, even if you got terms, it's not a pretty house deal. Like, you couldn't just sell it as is to an owner-occupant unless they wanted to come in and they were a handyman guy and wanted to fix it up before they move in, you know, assuming it's not livable right now. Okay. Well, he says that his ex was living in the house um, this past September, you know, and I don't know, you know, if she was just roughing it or what, but yeah. someone was living there. I mean, if it is livable, then, you know, I, I don't know. I guess it just depends. Could somebody move in there and be happy without right. doing anything to it? You know what I mean? Yeah. And if so, then can you get terms on it? What term okay. is this in? Let I'm me. sorry, what did you say? What area? Where is this located? This is in Elvington, or I'm sorry, Albion, Pennsylvania. A B I O N. Yeah, Albion. Okay. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that in Eastern PA? What's the, um, closest, what's the closest big city? I haven't looked it up yet. That's all right. I'm gonna look. Yeah. I think that's in Eastern. Albion. Albion's in Michigan. Albion, Pennsylvania. It's outside of Erie. Does okay. that sound right, Lanisha? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. no, so it's not. It, this is a different area. So you're you're up in northeast Pennsylvania, North. northern Pennsylvania. That's coal area up there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Everything's cheap. Yeah. Everything's cheap up there. Okay. Economy is decent, but everything's cheap. So <clears throat> I've got stuff in Pittsburgh, which is not too far away. And, um, you know, that market never goes up, never goes down. It's the weirdest thing for years through bad economy. Do I mean, you know, my houses went from 30,000 before the crash in eight to 28. And then okay. it, it came back to 31. You know, at the, at the peak. And that's it. Nothing ever changes. It's like Detroit. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. And mm -hmm. so you got to buy, 
you know, you're going to be buying much cheaper. You probably get it cheaper than 19. You should. Okay. This is not a prospect at this point. It's very suspect. Okay. Houses are old. They need, when you start digging into them, they need a lot of work. Um, you know, frequently they're, you know, la uh, they're lathing plaster walls. You guys have all seen that. Um, it's not sheetrock. They're tube and knob electrical. I mean, these things are, you know, fire hazards waiting to happen. Okay. Just okay. Got to go cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Just Thank you for that. Yeah, stick them in your follow up. Follow up with them. You know, he may come around after he gets uh, hosed around by some other investor and realizes his house ain't going to sell for more than 20. <laughs>